Humanitarian groups in the meantime continue to step up over the weekend to provide migrants with food and necessities as they waited for days and as Sal just reported, sometimes weeks along the border. And now an advocacy group is filing a lawsuit against the Department of Homeland Security over claims of rights violations. Fox 5's Misha DeBono joins us from the border with the details of that suit. Misha. Yeah, that complaint uh, lists several examples of just how deplorable the situation became here as these folks were forced to live outside, men, women, children, very little food, very little water, and hundreds of people sharing just one porta potty. After witnessing what it describes as egregious human rights violations, the Southern Border Communities Coalition, an advocacy group for migrants seeking asylum in the U.S., has filed a complaint against the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Civil Rights and Civil Liberties. The complaint essentially says that when someone is under Border Patrol custody, they have to follow a certain set of standards. Those standards indicate people should be fed three times a day, have access to water and a toilet, among other basic necessities. According to Pedro Rios, who has monitored the buildup of hundreds of migrants seeking asylum along the border weeks ahead of the end of Title 42, the migrants' treatment was inhumane and degrading. Uh, what we were witnessing here is that Border Patrol, in fact, was tagging them with bracelets, had some of them remove their shoelaces. Uh, which meant that they were in a pre-processing status and henceforth they were under Border Patrol custody. And that's the basis for the complaint. They were asylum seekers that were under the protection of Border Patrol, yet they were given very little food, left outdoors, and had no bathroom facilities. Giving someone a granola bar one time per day is absolutely um, something that should not be tolerated. They did bring the one single porta potty for 400, 500 people, but it was only serviced twice uh, a week, which means that within a, a number of hours, it was unusable. 24 hours, the hundreds of migrants who had been camped out here were picked up and are now being processed. Cleanup crews are now removing all the debris left behind, giving a pretty good look at just how deplorable and filthy the conditions are. Rios hopes it stands as witness to those in a position to make a difference. We hope that other elected officials also see it so that they understand the gravity of what took place here and that there's follow-up and hopefully accountability so that this never happens again. So I did just moments ago speak with a representative from Homeland Security. They are not able to provide a statement at this time or answer the question how it happened or how they're going to prevent it from happening in the future. They said, though, they are aware of the issue and that they will have some response in the future. From along the border in San Ysidro, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. Misha, thank you.